place to be. Happy Friday. Happy first day of May. It is May the 1st, 2020. Friday, Friday. We are getting ready to get into a math lesson. All right. We're going to be talking about Eureka Kindergarten, Module 5, lesson number 9 today. We're going to continue making those teen numbers. All right. We've been rocking and rolling with our teen numbers, showing a group of 10 and our ones left over. So we can drop the uke. Ring our bell. Yesterday we moved our bodies to get ourselves going. Today we're gonna ring our bell. Oh, listen to that. Oh, when you get locked in, get those good vibrations going. You are ready to roll. Happy Friday. Yeah, all right, boys and girls, let's talk about what you're gonna need for today's lesson to go along with me. So we will talk about hitting pause. I want you to go get 20 items. You can get 20 Lincoln Logs, build them up. You can get 20 Legos, you can get 20 cars, you can get 20 beads, you can get 20 of anything, all right? Or you can get yourself a pen, pencil, and paper because we're going to look at a couple different ways where we can show our teen numbers today, okay? So go ahead and hit, um, you're gonna need 20 items and you're going to need your hide zero cards if you have made those, okay? If not, follow along with Mr. Baxter. We're gonna be hiding zero to show our team numbers, okay? So go ahead, hit pause, and go get those things. When you come back, hit play, and we will go over our uh, success criteria and our learning target, okay? So go ahead and get your items. Come back, hit play. All right, thank you, welcome back. I hope you got your items, I hope you got your 20 things and your hide zero cards. Let's take a look at where we're going, guys. And how we're gonna get there. Okay. Zoomy, zoomy, zoom. There we go. All right. Now, where we're going today, boys and girls, what we will be learning is I can count to find out how many, right? We're doing math, so we're gonna be counting using our numbers to find out how many. And we're talking about these teen numbers, those numbers 11 through 20. 20, like, you know, 11 through 20. The teen numbers, they call them teen numbers because in most of those numbers, we hear the word teen, like 15, 16, 19. Ah, that's, the, that's why there are teen numbers. How do we get there? How in the world today are we gonna show what we know? Well, today, guys, we're gonna be using objects. That's why I wanted you to get your counters. We're gonna be using high zero cards and we're gonna be using drawings to show teen numbers. We're gonna do that showing 10 and a group of ones, okay? It's very important we pay attention to the 10 in our teen numbers so that you don't get confused, all right? We're gonna go over how one might get confused today looking at the number 13 or 17, okay? So make sure you've got your items or objects, make sure you've got your high zero cards, and make sure you've got your drawing, your, something to draw with, okay? One of these three things I want you to have so you can follow along with Mr. Baxter in our Eureka 5 Lesson 9 Math Lesson on Friday, May the 1st. You guys ready? All right, so let's back out some. I'll get up our whiteboard and we will get to rocking. All right, on our whiteboard, guys, we've got our 100s chart and we've got some 10 frames. I've got a dry erase marker here. That's what I'll be using to draw with, okay? Can we see? Looks like we can. Why don't we angle it down just a wee bit and zoom in just a tad. There we go. So you guys can really see what we'll, we'll be doing over here. All right, there we go. So, we're gonna be using these 20 items. I got my counters, and I've got my high zero cards. Now, watch this, I wanna show you how easy it is to get confused by some of these teen numbers, all right? Our teen numbers are the numbers between 11 and 20, right here, okay? Now look here, I'm gonna choose the number 13, all right? That's a one and a three. Now, sometimes you can get confused, guys. You can be looking at that as a one and a three, and forget it, that we have to include our group of 10. Here's what I'm telling you. I've seen some friends 
some pre-K friends, you know, people that have seen numbers like this but don't quite understand what a number 13 means, show the number 13, they'll put one here because there's your one, and then they'll put three here because 13 is a one and a three, right? No. One and three, boys and girls, simply goes together to give us one, two, three, four. We have to remember that that one in the number 13 is telling us that there is a group of 10. So to show the number 13 with our objects, we need to count our first 10. See how I'm filling up my 10 frame, but it's doing it in a five group way where we have five on top and five on the bottom. Now, if these were turned up like you've been doing on your seesaw, you would simply fill up the 10 frames going up and down. All right, so we're putting our 10 up top to show that 13 has a group of 10 in it, just like all of our teen numbers, right? They're all 11 to 20, so they're all up above 10, which means they've got that number 10 in them. All right, we've been showing that with our um, high zero cards and with our number bonds. This is the way a kindergarten math genius would show the number 13 with some objects because you guys know that 13 has a group of 10 in it and three ones left over. All right, now, if we wanted to write the number 13, we write our one. Now, does that one mean one? Mm -mm. That one shows the group of 10. And then we hide the zero in 10 with the three extra ones. That's how we write our number 13. And we can make it with our high zero cards also. Let's take a look. The number 13 has 10. And what number would I use to hide zero for 13? Three. You're right. I see 13 is a one and a three. So the three hides the zero to make the number 13. All right, let's try another one together, guys. All right. I'm going to jump the magical magnet to the number 18. Woo, 18. All right, get ready. We need to show 18 with our objects. You ready? All right, so 18 is going to be shown with a group of 10, right? And then how many ones do I need to put in the second to show the number 18? What do you hear? 18. Eight. So do I. So let's count up. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh. Six, seven, eight. Does this show our number 18 with our objects? Right, well, we've got 10 and 8. 10, 8. Is that 18? Yeah, well, let's take a look at it. Let's use our hot zero cards. We've got 10. And then let's find our number eight. See, this is 10. I know I've got my 10 dots on the back drawn as a five group way. 10 and the number eight. See, there's eight with its five group dots on the back. So I hide the number zero with the number eight to make what? 18. You're right. That's our team number 18. Now, we can write the number 18 by writing a one to show that group of 10, and eight to show our eight ones. But watch this, boys and girls. What if we wanted to draw objects to show 18? Well, can I draw one circle here to show my one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Is this my 18? One and eight? Thumbs up. What? What's wrong? One and eight makes 18, right? What's the problem? Oh, 10 and eight makes 18. I can't just draw one dot to show that one right there because us math geniuses know that that one is showing us a group of 10. So I need to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, so that I won't get confused, you could circle that group of 10, because we know a circled group means we have 10, and then there's eight left over to show our number 18. Thanks, guys. All right, so we've done, we, we've shown some team numbers with objects. We've shown some team numbers with drawings. We showed our team numbers with hide zero cards. 
Now, let's discuss how you all are going to do that today with your seesaw activity or with your Eureka Math worksheet in your packet, okay? So we'll get our stuff cleaned up. Kind of out of the way so that we can take a look back at that success criteria once we're done. All right, so let's get our stuff together. All right. Here we go. So, this is what our math is going to look like for today on your seesaw activity. Let's zoom her in. Zoomer boomer. There we go. Now I'll tell you what, these new tripods or something else. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, guys, is you're looking at a story problem, okay? And your story problem today says, a pre-kindergarten friend or a pre-K friend, Jenny drew 15 things with one chip and five chips. So she did she do it right? Does this show 15? Over here, one and five, does that show 15? No, it does not. It does not show 15. So what we need to do is we need to show Jenny the way to draw 15 with a group of 10 and a group of five, okay? I'm gonna use the magic marker, all right? I'm gonna, and, I, and I'm gonna put it red and we're gonna count out our first 10, all right? We're, we're gonna draw these in a five group way so we don't get confused, all right? You ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's my group of ten. And then I need how many more for fifteen? Right. I see my five there. One, two, three, four, five. Do you see that there? You see how we've now shown Jenny the correct way to draw fifteen as a group of ten ones with five left over. We don't want to get confused and think that fifteen is a one and five. One and five is the number six, all right? Us math geniuses know this is how you show 15. Now, when you get done, I want you to tell me why you think Jenny accidentally drew her drawing like this. You can use the microphone tool right there, record why you think Jenny only drew her drawings like that. All right, we'll move on to the next page. On the next page, guys, I want you to use your magic marker and I want you to whisper count as you draw dots in these uh, boxes in your 10 frames to match the teen numbers. I'm gonna do the first couple with you and then I want you to do the next on your own, all right? This first number, I see a one and a two. Now, I know one and two, 10 two is the number 12. That one shows me that we need a group of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then 10 two, I need two down on the bottom to show 10 and 2 makes the number 12. All right, remember, I told you they might try to trick you and turn your 10 frames up, but look over here. This is the number 17, right? 17, we know it as 10, 7. So we know that 1 in the number 17 shows us that there's a group of 10, so we need to fill up a 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the number over here in the ones place shows us how many ones left over. How many ones do we need? Seven, you're right, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take a look there, 10 and seven makes the number 17. Great job, I want you to try these two on your own. I can't wait to see your hard work. All right, let's take a look at what we're doing on our third sheet. We are going to draw items and circle a group of 10 to show these numbers. Well, here, look, look here. I'm gonna change the color, all right? But I'm gonna still use that magic marker because I love the way it glows on the screen. But what number do I see here? I see a two in the tens place. So I don't need one group of 10, I need two. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have two groups of ten. It asked us to circle the groups of ten. I'm going to grab my marker and circle one. You're right, and two, because 20 has two groups of 10. Now, I want you to try to do this one on your own, but I'm gonna show you what you'll do on the bottom. Using the number 10 and the move tool, I want you to grab one of these numbers over here, hide zero to make a, t a T number. The T number is up to you, okay? You can make any T number you want. I am gonna to choose to make the number 16. So I'm gonna hide the zero with the number six. Then we're going to draw our T number and then circle a group of 10. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. See that? 10 and six gives us the number what? 16. Awesome. I want you to try these on your own, making your own. And when you're finished, boys and girls, please hit the green arrow, green check to turn it into Mr. Baxter. All right, boys and girls, let's take a quick look back at the success criteria and learning target. Look at there. I can count to find how many, and we're talking about our T numbers. Well, we sure did that. And it said, I will use objects. Well, we use objects with our 10 frames. Hide zero cards. We knock that out. And drawings. Remember how we were drawing and circling groups of 10? Looks to me like we knocked it out, boys and girls. Thank you for an excellent math lesson today on this first day of May 2020. I can't wait to see your hard work. Um, we made it through another week of this distance learning stuff. Thank you so much for your hard work and, and just continuing to do everything that you can to be the best Baxter B that you, that you are. Ah, there it is. I got this new little gadget. You're seeing behind the curtain. Baxter, out.